Hello, I'm Ingrid Hill. I'm a Leicestershire artist. I work predominantly in watercolour and mixed media. I live in a small village in the heart of the National Forest, which is a constant source of inspiration to me on my daily dog walks. Uh, my other source of inspiration, um, especially this year, has been my garden. Um, I just love trying to capture things that have caught my eye. Uh, when I'm at shows, exhibiting, demonstrating, I'm often asked by people, where do you get your inspiration from or how do you produce your work? Are they all from photographs? That's a question I'm asked lots. Um, do you work from sketchbooks? Do you go out and about painting? So I thought I'd share with you this afternoon a little bit about my process. Now I don't have one particular process with my work. Um, I work in lots of different ways and as I said, lots of different inspiration. Um, I do have a daily sketchbook. I have to have lots of sketchbooks. I don't think you can have too many sketchbooks. Um, in fact, I've just had a new one today, so I'm dying to get on painting in that. Um, but I do work in a sketchbook very regularly. I have lots of different sketchbooks for different purposes. Um, so I will sometimes use a sketchbook. I've popped a couple out to show you. Um, this is one that I've done whilst on holiday, outside, um, at the scene, sat down painting. Um, there's a few water splodges on it, actually, because it was raining at the time. Um, but I do I like to go out and about and capture things in the sketchbook. I use sketchbooks also for experimental work. So this one is um, a mixed media work. It has a, a nice little piece of dictionary at the bottom. And uh, I've tried to pick out the words. So this one I've got tree for the dictionary entry. Um, and then I've got some watercolour and uh, mixed media on top of it. Um, I also use my sketchbooks to plan paintings. So some of these that I'll do will finally become studio paintings. So both of the ones that I've shown you will eventually be studio paintings. They don't always become a studio painting. Um, my sketchbooks are something just for pure fun. Um, it's a place to be creative and not at all, worry at all about the finished result. I'm not trying to produce a picture. So for some of my work, I will use a sketchbook for my preparatory studies to experiment, to explore an idea. Um, so I've got a couple to show you. Um, this one just here, this is based on um, a buddy in my garden, resting in the sun, is the painting. And uh, I, I've got a sketchbook study. Uh, that's quite large, I hope you can see it. So um, I have a photograph, I actually did it in the garden, but I took a photograph as well for future reference. Um, and then what I've done is I've done a colour study of it. So I'm hoping you can see that with the light. I've worked out my possible colour palette and the sort of feel that I would like for my painting. Um, so this was my preparatory work for this particular picture. Um, and what I'll do sometimes with my work is I'll also have professionally printed uh, G clay prints produced of it. And they're produced on a beautiful cotton rag paper. So they do give the real impression of an original painting. Um, but it means that they're accessible to a lot more people. Um, another one that I've popped out to show you is my Wild Meadows. So this again, this was again from In My Garden. Um, I, I've got my little study here to show you of that. So again, I took a photograph so that uh, I, have a, I have a photo for future reference. Um, and then I've worked out roughly how I might like to paint the picture. So I've worked out my colour palette, the type of style that I would like to work in. Now, I don't produce the whole finished picture usually for these. I usually just produce small sections work out my colours, work out the style that I'm after and then that allows me to be free and loose when I come to work on my actual paintings. I've already got in my mind uh, where I'd like to go with it. Now both of these are watercolours. Um, I say that I do my preparatory studies. Uh, it doesn't mean that the finished painting is exactly the same as my sketchbook work. They're often quite different and that's the beauty of watercolour for me. I love the unpredictable nature of it. I love the fact that things happen and happy accidents happen um, and I like to let it do its own thing but just with a little bit of gentle encouragement from me to go into the direction that I would quite like it to. So both of these were painted from sketchbook studies, both were original watercolours uh, that were uh, framed and uh, ready to, to purchase but as I say I also have prints produced so I have my prints of uh, both of these that are produced and they have nice um, snow white mounts with a lovely little v groove detail on them 
Um, but I also have a nice range of greetings cards from uh, a lot of my paintings. So Wild Meadows is also available as a blank greetings card. Uh, I like the surface of the, the paper. It's got a very slight satin sheen, but it isn't a gloss. Um, always blank so people can leave their own message. And I do like craft envelopes. So uh, I chose craft envelopes for my cards. Um, I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this short video with a little bit of an explanation about how these two paintings um, have been prepared. If you'd like to see more of my work or indeed more of my sketchbooks, I have uh, lots and lots of different sketchbook studies. Um, they're all on my website, ingridhillart.co.uk and my full range of greetings cards, I've got 35 cards at the moment, and my prints, they're all available on my Etsy shop, which is Ingrid Hill Art um, on Etsy UK. Thanks for watching, I hope you found it interesting.